What's up, everybody? King of FOMO here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Make sure you follow my Telegram channel, t.me slash kingoffomo1, as well as my website, kingoffomo.com, in the chats. Everything's going to be in the description below. There's some rumblings about some more YouTube drama going on a little bit later. So I also have linked below this link tree, which is going to bring you to secondary channels in case any of the videos on this channel gets deleted. I've gone through a lot of that in the past, but I'm not going to bog you down with the drama of that today. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Swerve token and the current token as well. I have bought into the Swerve token. It's up 69% today. Um, and this is what I'm going to consider to be the big boy farming token. Um, so let me actually go to the homepage right here so we can see how to get started with Swerve. I want to give you guys a, a tutorial on how to get into this platform and start farming this coin in the first place. A uh, couple things to note, this is not a beginner token to farm. If this is your first time farming a token, I know we've been doing a lot of stuff with like the food tokens and these super duper high yield kind of baby tokens, but uh, this is a, a, lot, a little bit more complicated. Uh, and actually, instead of like with the food tokens, instead of just cloning itself and giving you more of its own coin, uh, they're actually doing a lot of stuff on the back end. They have governance going on. They have people that can actually code things uh, where like, unlike the other tokens that we're seeing like on the Tron network and right now on Ethereum with just random farms coming out, a lot of the times it's just a random developer cloning a code and saying, buy my coin. Um, so Swerve.Finance is supposed to be a competitor to its rival Curve.Finance. And I, ge I guess this is because they had a more fair launch, um, but neither here nor there, uh, they do seem to have the developmental skills to push this coin uh, pretty far. And just to show you guys the chart of Curve, just to get a, a reference right here. So Curve.Finance has been around since August 14th and it's really rare for some of these farming coins you know the the food farming coins to survive more than like a week before they become completely and entirely useless to farm um, but with curve.finance you can see that it started off at a pretty crazy high price of like you know 30 bucks 50 bucks up here but it corrected pretty fast to about four dollars and it's been moving sideways at about two or three dollars for a long time so if you've been farming that then that APY is a little bit more real a lot more realistic than uh, the coins that like the food coins that we normally see. At the same time, though, this is still a risk. You still have uh, to get into the liquidity pool to do uh, the curve token and the swerve token. So if the liquidity pool, if one of those values, like the token goes down a lot in value, or if there's any cat catastrophe that happens, then you will lose all of your money or most of your money in the platform. So do keep that in mind. So I said it's not a beginner coin at all. Um, if you farmed before, then welcome to the big boys. <laughs> all right, so to get started with Swerve.Finance, first you want to go to the website. It's Swerve.Fi. I'll leave the link in the description below. And you can click on the Swerve Finance app right here. So I'm going to click on Swerve Finance app. So there's a lot of buttons to check out right here. You, have, you can see the pool APYs, what the Swerve APY is, anywhere from 128 to 80 803 percent um, yearly and again that number is going to change dramatically just like all the other farming tokens but nonetheless being more stable than those farming tokens that's still a really really good percentage even if you're looking at the weekly or monthly basis from this uh, token um, so to actually stake in here it's a little bit different than your other farming tokens where you have to buy it on Uniswap and then put the liquidity pool on Uniswap. You can actually just do it all directly from the site here uh, so you're going to want to go to where it says SWUSD and then you can see the buy and sell options are going to be right here. Uh, so you want to acquire one of these coins, either DAI, USDC, USDT, or TUSD. And you can actually purchase those on Uniswap if you're more familiar with that. I think you can also get them on here or sell them on here at least, but I would just get it on Uniswap. Uh, and then you're going to want to go to this option right here called Deposit. So once you're on this option, it'll show you your values that you have in each coin. So I deposited USDC. So you know you can just put in the amount that you have in USDC and what you want to deposit. Uh, and then the number will pop up here. You can click on deposit and it will put that entire thing in. You will get two transactions that you have to confirm, one to approve the tokens and one to actually deposit the tokens inside of here. Whenever you see a, a transaction box pop up here, I would recommend that you guys just you know up the gas and confirm it. Uh, don't, <laughs> don't reject any of the transactions because they, they might mess up. But I would confirm one, wait for it to approve, confirm the next one, wait for it to approve. And if there's another one, confirm that as well. Uh, but there's two here. So once you have confirmed that, then you have added your USDC or any of your other stablecoin pairs and gotten liquidity pool tokens. So you don't have to go through that step of buying Swerve on Uniswap and doing the liquidity pool on Uniswap. So after you have done the deposit right here, your next step is to go over to the DAO right here. 
And this is where you're going to start earning some of the APY. Uh, so you will see your balance come up down here. And then when you see that balance, you can either use, you know, 50%, 100%. Obviously, if you deposit it into here, you're probably going to want to use 100%. So you can just deposit 100%. And then once that gets in, you're going to be start, you're going to start to earn Swerve tokens. You can see that I have already started earning since, you know, 30 minutes since I put in this 10K. And um, you'll also see that there's uh, an APY right here, but this is not the number that you're getting if you don't boost to the maximum, uh, your APY is going to be lower. So the next thing that you want to do is try to boost to the maximum so that you can make sure that you're earning the most from Swerve. And to do a boost, that has to do with this screen up here. So what you'll have to do is this is where you'll actually have to acquire some Swerve tokens. You can get them from farming. It's really, it really doesn't cost that much, or you can just buy them outright depending on how much they cost. Um, and once you have, like for me, it took nine tokens. I only had to buy nine tokens at $5 a piece. And, um, you know, I added that and you, you can, you have the choice to lock it for a certain amount of time. That's what this lock is right here. And the longer you lock it, the higher your boost is going to be. So again, for you, you can play around the numbers. So the calculator is going to be on the screen. Where's the calculator at? So down, there is a calculator oh, up here at the top of the screen. So there's a calculator right here and you want to see what your boost percentage is going to be. I think the highest is 2.5 X. So let's just say that you wanted to try five swerve. If you put five swerve in, you locked it for a year, you're getting 1.82 X. Um, you can lock it for longer, like three years. That'll get you to the 2.5 X pretty quickly. Or you can just, you know, put in a little bit more swerve. Uh, you know, nine is really not that expensive to purchase and to lock that for a year, I'm getting 2.47 X. And then of course, if your boost decreases, you can increase the lock or you can increase the tokens from that uh, right there. So it was it was a 2.5 X for me. I put in the minima. I should have put in a little bit more because it did actually decrease a little bit. Um, so I'll have to think about how much swerve I actually want to put into here to increase my boost percentage. And again, the reason why you guys are increasing that boost percentage is because that maximum boost is going to give you this maximum APY um, with the token that you have. So that is the big boy token right there. That's swerve. If you guys are interested in checking it out, um, Definitely follow it on CoinGecko. Look at other videos. Don't <laughs> don't be shy. Uh, if this is your first farming token and you're confused about any of the steps, if you have any basic questions like how do I use MetaMask, <laughs> then don't do it. Please don't do it. Go do some research first. Figure out how all this stuff works and then decide whether or not you want to do this swerve. Um, because in all honesty, the gas fees are still going to be really high with this uh, because you have to you have to approve a lot of transactions and it's a pretty complex smart contract, so it's not going to be cheap even if the gas is cheap uh, so that's why i put in a, a larger amount if you're only putting in like 50 bucks it's not worth it don't do it right now <laughs> until ethereum 2.0 comes out or something uh, but you know why not claim some swerve over the long period of time and be able to sell that. So that's my plan. Uh, I, I'm not really going to be holding Swerve. This is a farming token, just like all the other farming tokens. If a token gets farmed for free or essentially free, uh, you're going to, it's going to go down in value because people are going to sell it. So uh, Swerve is kind of capturing the hype right now. It's it's only been up for maybe, how long has it been up? Since September 4th. So a couple of days, maybe three or four days, not seven days yet. Uh, and it's, it's already you know, decreased. It's climbing back up a little bit. And, uh, you know, as I'm farming, I think that the APY is going to be pretty good for Swerve. Those are just my opinions. Um, some other farming tokens that are out right now that I'm testing out. I talked about kitten.finance. I'm going to give them another shout out because they seem like they're a little more competent than your typical farms with your food. Uh, and they're actually producing a product. So definitely look into kitten.finance. Um, and also, I guess, uh, squirrel.finance, which is not farming, it's a little bit different. Uh, I actually have to look into exactly what they're doing. But a lot of people are excited about squirrel.finance. Now I think that it's probably over pumped right now, you could probably wait for it to dip. Uh, usually when you have that much hype in a launch, uh, <laughs> you have a dump that happens shortly after that. Uh, but Check it out for yourself. You have squirrel.finance, kitten.finance, and of course, the one we talked about in this video, which is swerve.fi. And again, if you guys ever have questions about like, how do I find it? The best, your best bet is to go to Uniswap, type it in here, and all of the links are gonna be here. So if you're looking in my description, it's not there. You got the website, you got etherscan, you got the telegram, you got the Twitter. Just go here. Don't stop using me as a, as a reference for everything. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and also make sure you follow the Telegram channels. And again, if you haven't yet, I would recommend that you guys follow my Vimeo. 
Uh, so my Vimeo is right here. And again, you guys can follow it just like you follow YouTube and you won't be, get spammed stuff, but that way all of my videos are going to be archived here from here on out. I got to do some updates on this and my website, but those are definitely two places to check out. Guys, catch you in the next video. Peace out.